What's up, Pisces? Welcome back to my channel. Never mind all this shaking that shit to stop. Anywho, if you're new, what's up? Come on in here, hop on the couch, kick your feet up, relax and enjoy yourselves, boo. Grab your weed, your blunt, your cigarettes, your smoke, your alcohol, your drugs. I don't give a fuck, just do you, all right? All right, Pisces, let's get into your reading. All right, so this will be a six card love spread on how they feel about you, okay? All right. Okay, so this person is going through a profound sadness now that they now that they had to move on from you in the relationship. You could have been married or just in a long-term relationship. You built a legacy with this person. Y'all had kids, the house, and the cute little doggy doggies. All right? But this person is feeling abandoned, rejected, left out in the cold. You could have blocked them. You could have been dealing with a queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could have been charming, charismatic, could be arrogant, have a lot of suitors, but they are go-getters and they know what they want and they go after it. You know, they can talk you right out your boxes and your panties. Yeah, they've been waiting for you to open up though, come forward so that you guys can start a brand new passionate beginning together. All right, but let's clarify. You guys see that? If you guys can see this. Okie dokie. Let's see what we got. Okay, so you're looking for karmic justice. Hell, revenge. From a third party situation hmm. to where they were making plans to meet up with somebody else you could have walked away feeling defeated from a third party just take how it just take how it may apply and lead the rest all right okay now understand energy goes both ways so this can most definitely be you all right so ever since there was some truth revealed they still been holding on to the relationship and they want to send you an offer, but feel you will reject them, all right? But ever since you cut them off, they've been sad, depressed, crying over spilled milk. They can't believe all their love, time, and energy has all been wasted down the drain. Could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this person still sees you as their wish fulfillment, and they will be initiating some type of action. They could have overindulged in alcohol or substance abuse. Okay, all right, all right, but anywho, let's get you guys three cards on how they feel, and then I'll pull a um, pull an advice card for you and leave it there. All right, the first card out we have, thank you for leaving me. Yeah, see that? All right, so 
check the fire out. Yeah. Yes. It is too late. All right. Third card we have out is. Did you see that over that damn light? I wonder how far this will go. Okay. Let's get you an advice card. And I'll leave it here. Spirit wants to advise. wants to advise. She knew what I need to see. All right, we have clarity. All right, so let me read it for you. And I shall leave it here. Hmm. Oh, and that's also the purple card uh, color. So the third eye chakra, your third eye chakra is blocked. If you don't know what that is, I'll read it to you after this. Okay, you have attracted this card into your awareness today because clarity is upon you. The ability to experience clarity is connected to the third eye chakra. And the more this chakra opens and is activated, the more clarity you will receive. It's time to see things clearly, to receive the answers you are been, you have been searching for. When our third eye chakra is, is blocked, it can affect our perception of situations in our lives. You are being encouraged at this time to cleanse and work on strengthening your third eye chakra so it can work to its full potential. There are some great medications you can do, meditations medications you can do to activate the third eye. And a great crystal to assist with this is the amethyst. Place the crystal on your third eye and point and breathe in its energy to help activate and awaken your chakra. As your third eye opens, you will receive a lot more clarity in your life. Clarity comes when we can understand and clear the confusion around stressful, stressful situations in our lives. What what in your life requires clearing? It is not to, not, now time for you to, to action. What? It is now time for you to action some clearing. Sometimes our minds create illusions that stop us from seeing the truth. It is time for you to let go of thoughts that no longer serve you and come into a place of clarity. Once you receive the clarity, you will feel a deep deeper sense of self, well-being in your world. This can also indicate that it's time to clarify a particular situation in your life. You may have been asked a question that is card that this card is telling you. Yeah, you may have asked a question and this card is telling you that once you're you work on finding clarity, the answer will come. Your affirmation is I experience life with divine clarity. Alright? I say. Alright, let me read what a chakra is to you. The ancient Sanskrit name for the third eye chakra is Anja, and it's located at the brow between between the eyes. The chakra is the chakra is related to the ability to see clearly, both physically and intuitively. It opens our physical abilities and enables us to see through in all situations, to see the truth in all situations. It enhances our intuition, imagination, visualization, and insight. When the third eye is open and in balance, our intuition deepens. Our awareness expands and our dreams can bring us messages that unveil hidden truths. We remember things a lot more easily and our minds become calm and at peace. We may even see visions of the spirit world and experience an awakening of our psychic gifts. It is through the third eye chakra that we can emphasize the world and visualize the world with greater clarity and perspective. Receive it from a place of spiritual truth. All right, me loves, I'm going to leave it right here. And if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, you can give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. That's all that matters to me. All right, loves? All right. And for the High Vibing Tribe, thank you for all the love, share, and subscribes and the beautiful comments. Keep them coming. They fuel me. You know, I do this for you. You know, there is no me without you guys. That's some real shit, all right? And thank you for the lovely donations. They are greatly appreciated. 
great, greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah, 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 mwah. I love you all. And until next time, same bat time. Bum, bum, bum. Same bat channel. Bum, bum, bum. All right, deuces.